Let's start the demo with the JEDEX front-end option that's typically the preferred choice of finance professionals, Excel. As you will see though, the other JEDEX front-end options, the web browser and mobile apps, utilize the same principles and reports and data interchangeable between them. All JEDEX related functionality is available in the JEDEX ribbon, for example, creating reports or views. A view is based on a JEDEX cube, which typically relates to a specific subject matter, like for example, finance or sales. JEDEX is completely flexible in regards to the structure and how many cubes or models you can use. This is entirely dependent on the sources you want to analyze and the areas to cover. Managerial's Clear Jelly service generates these cubes automatically from cloud-based accounting solutions. But this could be completely different or extended. The initial creation of a report is very similar to a pivot table, but with some major differences. So you just drag the detail that you want to see, for example, the products into the rows or columns, and then we generate the respective report. On the report, we can now drill down to the relevant detail required, or we can change the point of view. So this means with this one spreadsheet, we can cover any possible combination of details in your central model. And the spreadsheet will always reflect the current status without any further maintenance or updates. As opposed to a pivot table, the report is formula based. So every data point will retrieve the number for the respective items it points to. For example, here, all products for year 2016, all contacts and so on. Um, this can be proven if I just change the heading here, you will see that in both columns, I get now the same data. This means you have total flexibility in how you can create your reports. So they could also look like this or more advanced dashboards like these. So it gives you all the flexibility in your spreadsheet, but the data is always accurate from the one single JEDOX model in the cloud or on-premise. Let's go back to our initial report. What I can do here now as well is write back data. So for example, if um, I'm looking at the moment at the actual scenario, I would like to now enter my budget figures. And as you can see, we have here multiple scenarios already there. So let's just switch to budget. From here, I can either enter the numbers directly into my sheet or copy data. For example, I could specify, I would like to start with the data in the actual scenario. And now you can see it has automatically copied all the actuals. And from here, I can either do top-down changes, like for example, increasing this by a particular percentage, let's say a 10% increase. So we have now a 10% increase here, or go down to the detailed level and enter data, uh, for example, for a particular customer. As you can see, I have not just overwritten the data, the formula is still there, but the formula is intelligent enough that if an entry happens, it writes back the data into the underlying central database in the cloud or on-premise and keeps the formula in place. So if we switch back to the total, we can immediately see what's the effect and what's the current status of our budget. And this works, of course, um, for multiple users. So you can have uh, nearly unlimited users working at the, at the server at the same time. Another key feature of JEDOX are the business modeling capabilities. A business model in JEDOX is not restricted to the initial version, but can be always adapted depending if you have the relevant user rights, of course. So what we can do here is, for example, you could simulate the introduction of a new product. We go back to the underlying model. In this case, we're, we're looking at products and we want to simulate a new product. So we can do this by just going in here, adding the new product. Uh, we could now create group groupings or add this to a particular total. In this case, I would like to add it to the overall total. And now if we refresh the report or do a drill down, we can see immediately this product is available. 
and we can start entering our data into uh, this particular product. As we have all Excel functionality available, we can of course use a chart as well and add this to our report. Just put this somewhere here. This report we can now publish with just one click to the web. And now if we go to the web browser and click refresh, we'll see our new report is available here on the web now. On the report, I can interact now in exactly the same fashion as in Excel. So I can change point of views, I can drill down. But as opposed to Excel, the report itself is now protected. So users can't uh, change formulas or interfere with the report in, in any other way. If I want to, data entry can be enabled, but only if you activate this. What is possible though for the users is to comment and collaborate on the report similar to social media. Let's have a look now at a few more advanced reports that are using some more special visualizations that are also easily added in JREX like uh, maps or uh, microcharts or advanced data entry sheets that you can easily make available to your users. So the report that we've just published is fully editable directly on the web without any additional software license. So there's no Excel required. And you can edit the report in exactly the same way as you know from your spreadsheet environment. So for example, we could now add a conditional formatting. We just select the area that we want to apply the format to, specify a new rule. For example, we want to show everything greater than 10,000 with a green background color. We see the rules applied. Now we just save the report, go back to our end user view. So we can see all the changes in the JEDEX web client are now automatically applied here. So this means that depending on your preferences, you can interchangeably work in either Excel or the web client. This concludes the short introduction. We're looking forward to have you again in, an, in another JEDEX training session.